At least I have a different home menu. It's a different home menu. And now I can download my old save data. And I bet if I hover it, it's the PS5 version. Where do I claim the uh, intermission? Story focuses on new character Yuffie, who infiltrates uh, Midgar with the help of Avalanche HQ to steal top secret materia. She has been two episode portion of the game separate from the main story. So this isn't free. It's 14 bucks. What up, Yazin? I'm okay with buying this. I went into this thinking I was buying this. Okay. That can download for as long as it wants. I don't need this to be downloaded before, right? Like, no part of me needs this. I guess it's 10% now. We can wait on it. It's 9 gigs. Yes, and I'm only starting the main game today. So if you're worried about spoilers, I'm not going to go near this today. More story time. I mean, it's already a quarter of the way done. Spoilers? No, not spoilers. Okay, so Vega, funny enough, I don't know if you played this game or not. Two things. This game's spoilers are different from Final Fantasy VII spoilers. And number two, this DLC has been out for like six months or so. Yeah, we're replaying the whole game. I, Vega, I don't know how much you know the base of Final Fantasy VII, like the original game and then this game, but... uh. There's a little bit of different shit going on in this one. I played FF7 a bunch as a kid, but never got in the remake. Okay, so Vega, the gimmick with the remake is that there are these ghosts. They look like Dementors from Harry Potter. Um, there are these ghost wisp things that fly around and anytime he's got magic in his name direct um anytime that you as a player deviate from what happens in the original story these wisps will come in and try to correct it because these wisps things these ghosts want the original story to happen it's like, it's like their destiny and the destiny is exactly what happened in the original game so really early on in this game, depending on how long you stick around tonight, if I get, I should get that far. Really early on in this game, Cloud interacts with Aerith. And Cloud interact is, Cloud interacts with Aerith way before Cloud interacts with Aerith in the main game, in, in the original. And so as soon as they start talking, this ghost come in, this ghost comes in and like shoes Aerith away and spits Cloud out the other direction. And there's a bunch of stuff like that. There's times where people should live. Or there's times where people should die in the original and then like their life will be spared for a little bit and then you'll see the ghosts come in trying to fuck them up afterwards because the ghosts are trying to pull them back to what so the concept to me is really sick a bunch of hardcore final fantasy 7 fans don't like it because they're like i just wanted a re i just wanted a remaster i, I just wanted an upscaled better graphics remaster just top to bottom of final fantasy 7 why are they doing this extra shit? but me i'm like i know the story of the original but, like, I know the story of the original, but this concept for a game is so fucking cool to me. The concept's badass. I'm all for it. 
This menu, you can finish transferring your PlayStation 4 Final Fantasy 7 Remake to your PlayStation 5 console. Make sure to first upload your data from the save in the PS4 version of the game. I didn't do that. I'll start a new game, though. I don't give a shit. Because it's not in here, right? Yeah. Um, defaults is fine. The player-controlled character will attack and defend automatically, allowing you to focus on executing commands. The battle difficulty is the same as normal. So the player-controlled character, my guy, will auto... Like, auto-attack on his own, and then... Oh, I just command everybody, so that's kind of... Okay, that's cool. I'm not doing it, though. Also, it won't let me play on hard. Which is fine. This is the first playthrough? No, this is the second playthrough. So the way I want spoilers to go on this is... I think you can spoil original Final Fantasy VII. Don't spoil this game. You can spoil original Final Fantasy VII, but only do it as we come up to the moments. So if a big moment happens, then talk about how it happened in the original. If you want to. I wouldn't talk about it before. Ghost represents the purest FF7 fans. It kind of does. I don't know if that was the intention or not. Did I ever play Crisis Core? No, but I know the premise of Crisis Core. I just know Crisis Core explains Zack a lot. Tifa was part of the Italian Senate. I forgot this part of the intro. I do know a lot of people like Zach. Uh, Magic and Drac, y'all gotta take that to DMs or something. I don't know why the fuck y'all are fighting about Harry Potter in my chat, but holy shit, knock it off. Drax mad magic like shit made by a transphobe and magic's mad because the fucking story isn't real and millions of other people like it. But now he's trying to say that transphobe stuff is fine in media, which is the part that Drax was pointing out, and the whole thing is fucked up. I'm gonna have to move my webcam here in a minute. Not what I was saying. Drac literally told you what was fucked up about the elves and the trans people and all that shit, and you said they're not real, so it's fine. So, shut the fuck up and stop talking about goddamn Harry Potter and that bullshit in here. I don't give a fuck. About your argument specifically. I give a fuck about J.K. Rowling being a huge piece of shit transphobe, but that's different. remember much of this game, Yazin, but Zack cannot have more than seven lines. I don't know what you're so pressed about.
Tifa or Aerith? Okay. We'll get more into it as time goes on. As we get into this game. I am a huge Jesse fan. Jesse's the main girl. However, I'm a huge fan of Tifa and Aerith together. I think Tifa and Aerith are the couple. There's your girl, though. There's the real one. If I'm allowed to, if I'm allowed to veer off of Destiny and pick how this game ends, Cloud's ending up with Jesse and Tifa and Aerith are ending up together. Get down here, Merc. Pretty sure Jesse wasn't that forty in the original. She didn't have much of a. She didn't have a lot of time to be a character in the original. They added so much to her in this game. You're up. Square to attack with Cloud Sword. Hold Square to unleash an attack. I'm so excited to be playing this. Hold Square to unleash an attack capable of hitting multiple nearby enemies. You're coming with us. Nice and easy. I don't think so. Not bad. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting all the trophies on PS5 now, too, so I'm going to recollect a bunch of trophies here. Badass. Who in the hell? If any of you guys are... Have fun. FF7 Masters. FF7 Remake Masters. If I come up to a spot where you know some badass materia is hidden away, don't let me walk past it. That is the kind of backseating I'm totally okay with. ATB gauge fills as time passes by attacking with square. Once the bar is full, your character can perform special action. Charges can be used immediately or saved. Try attacking an enemy to fill the gauge. Freeze! Move and we shoot! Go ahead. Suck, Hold this reset. Yeah, it's the thing of the four months. You can expend ATB gauge charges to perform battle commands such as using abilities, magic, or items. Press X to try to use one of the commands. Enough of this. Jump in the air, strike with a powerful attack, lunge towards an enemy piercing strike that hits multiple times, significantly increases attack. Let's kill him with Braver. Nothing to it. When not in battle, you can check the map, options, menus, various kinds, use the start to open the main menu. Touchpad does something, I missed it. When the icon appears, move your character closer to automatically jump, crouch, or perform whatever their action is required. Damn, homie. Wasn't it our five-month anniversary like two weeks ago? Two months? But how you doing, Slamma Jamma? What up, pimp? Y'all know me. I like to explore. Drop the weapon! You got this. Yeah, what he said. Also love that Biggs is, uh, first of all, Wedge is the bigger guy, but Biggs is just Charlie Sheen. Biggs is just young Charlie Sheen face. When is the sequel releasing? Did they give a date? I think we got, like, a baby teaser for it already. Defense against enemy attack with R1 to guard or circle to evade. Successful guard reduces the amount of damage suffered. Also charges your ATP gauge. You're coming with us. Surrounded. Come on. Try harder. <laughs> I tried to jump. You can't jump in this game, right? Not bad. Why can't man to be? I should just pick up one of their guns. That'd be way better than a sword, right? What if I just picked up their guns and shot them? Sorry, I've been watching a lot of John Wick. I told you guys I had a really, 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 really unfortunate thing happen to me the other day. So I've been watching a. I've been watching my comfort movies. To uh, kind of help me get over it in my free time, aka the John Wick trilogy. So over the last like six days, I've watched John Wick Part One and Two and started Part Three. Try to open chest doors or talk to people. If you see the word "hold," you need to hold it down rather than just pressing it because they're doing a load screen. Two potions. I think we've heard anything more about Part Two. I don't know. Maybe I'm on crack. I thought we got like a baby teaser 
and a rough release date idea. Maybe that was just them announcing this for PC or something, but... When does FF16 come out? Wait, we just got a trailer for that. It's next year, right? If you find boxes with the Shinra logo, press square to smash them with your sword. They may contain useful items such as potions that restore HP or Mako. Guards that restore... Next summer? I imagine... Part 2 will come out the year after, then. I have to imagine Part 2 will come out the year after. Hey, girl. So what's Soldier Boy's deal? Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh... Uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional. Unlike the rest of us. God, they went out of their way to line up the English that. voice acting. <laughs> This is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, I thought this was blocked off. Two granadas. I played this for the first time when it came out, so whenever that was. Come on, nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. What? Yeah, it's been a good while. I don't remember the controls or anything at all. Nothing like that. You better be worth the money, Merc. Every last gill. What do you guys think Barrett weighs? I'm guessing 370 pounds. Oh, damn. If there was ever something that looked like a secret passage, it was that. With the gun? Yeah. Actually, the gun raises a lot of questions. Because without the gun, he's down an arm. So without the gun, I'm actually going to change my answer to 335. Press R3 to lock on. Press R3 again to unlock. You can switch between the two. Get him, boy! Guess you're first. Guard dog got a fucking health bar. Asshole just grenaded his own dog. Here we go. Enough. I think I spent my whole first time in operator mode, Let's by the way. Go. I think for whatever reason I didn't like Punisher mode, and I don't know why. The game looks a little dark to me. Is it dark to you guys? Running around for half an hour trying to die? Wait, what? He has a minigun on his arm. His minigun is... I think might be more than 50 pounds. I don't know, it's tough. This way. Huh? <laughs> Not so fast. We've got company.
Job's a job. <laughs> I probably shouldn't take the dog out first, but like I am. My health be kind of low. I have 11 of these. Pop. Soundtrack Stellar. Oh, there's Jesse. No holding back. See ya. <laughs> Punisher mode is kind of dummy. I'm pretty sure I did not. I'm pretty sure I used minimal Punisher mode, if at all, in my first playthrough. Maybe I'm on crack. Fun witch. Part, I want to say Barrett's mini gonna be more than fifty pounds. Soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above Marco's? Nah, fifty might be right. Ain't holding out on me, are you? Mini guns were 85, yeah, but he's got like half a mini gun. Or is he a loyal little dog? Have it your way, Mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this, but I'll manage. Hey girl. Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open soon. I'm watching you. I am also watching you. In three, two, damn, I'm good. Who's there? Door! Oh, wait! It's over! That's my line. Every character has a unique ability with which you can activate with triangle. With Cloud's shift mode ability, you can switch between his balance operator mode and his attack-oriented punisher mode. Press triangle to try it out. I think I'll do that. Punisher mode, Cloud moves more slowly, but can, uh, but Square unleashes a more powerful attack than usual. In addition, Cloud launches a counter blow every time he guards against the maze melee. He cannot, however, guard against ranged attacks or magic. When you evade such attacks, you will switch back to operator mode. The punisher just for if you're standing there beating ass. We can take it. Take it right. That's that. Why would they give you four ranged guys and then be like, try out Punisher mode? Jesse, you're kicking all the boxes. Cut it out. Simmer down, hot shot. Okay. It's a good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. My cam's blocking stuff. Yeah, you're right. I should move it. What can you do? Then we're good. Careful in there. He's just young Charlie Sheen. I got this. Uh, probably right here. Be all right. I'm not really losing MPA. I don't need to break those boxes unless I'm looking for stuff. A tuft of Phoenix down. Security is only going to get tighter, so be ready. 
We can't afford any more mistakes. I haven't made any mistakes. Yeah. Looks like the elevator's on another floor. Mind pushing that button? We'll push the button together, Jesse. Oh, I thought she also had a button. So, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close? Tifa and I. <sighs> he liked the house boss. I didn't. He kind of knew what to expect with the house boss, and I didn't. So, I hated the house boss on first pass, but on second pass, I'm going to make sure I ask you guys what elements he's weak to, so I bring that. I don't think it'll be nearly as bad. I got very unlucky when I faced the house boss because I just didn't happen to bring any of the elements. That the house boss was weak to. So, while the house boss never really got close to killing me... Sir. Hold on. Graves is talking. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. <laughs> this pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry while you sleep. Why you eat, why you shit, it's here sucking up, Marco. It doesn't rest, and it doesn't care. You do realize what Marco is, don't you? Marco uh. is the lifeblood of our world. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! You really hear that? Damn straight I do. Get help. <laughs> Say that again. <clears throat> I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. Hold up. Sorry, the cutscenes are really good in this game. Graphics are really good. PS5 upgrade looking immaculate. Our lives are on the line now. You listening, Merc? One false move. And that happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. Bear with him for me, would you? Yes. <laughs> Should have asked for more money. <laughs> Barrett Wallace. Anyway, the house boss. Um, I got really unlucky when I fought the house boss, and I didn't happen to take any of the elements that he was super weak to. So, while the house boss didn't really get that close to killing me over the duration of what felt like a 30-minute fight, good God, um, I couldn't kill him super fast. So it was just a very, very, very long, very, very, very boring fight after the first five or ten minutes. Um, so I didn't like the house. I didn't like the house boss on first pass. Because it's definitely something where, like, if you just don't happen to have the shit that fucks them up. Because they, they don't tell you what fucks them up beforehand. beforehand. There's no hints. There's no hints that, like, oh, you need this to fuck up the house boss before you get in there. And I first tried him, but I was just so fucking bored. I'm going to judge him again on a second pass. When I actually know what elements he's weak to, and we'll see how fast the fight can be, relatively. Um, but on first go, not knowing anything about it because it's my first time playing the game, that fight was, was dog shit. Very specializes in range attacks. Holding down square releases a sustained burst of automatic fire when, uh, when equipped with range weapon. Barrett can fire from a safe location and hit enemies that Cloud cannot reach with his sword. 
Gonna throw your sword at him? Let the man with the gun go to work. These tin cans ain't got nothing on me. Now for the real show. Yeah, I just did that. I think just shooting cloud. I think it's just over the shooting cloud. Temporarily reduced damage taken and how easily you're interrupted. Badass. Oh man! I just got really happy. Um, in Final Fantasy 15, I only ever wanted to play as Noctis. I knew you could play as Gladio and Prompto could shoot and Ignis, you know, does Ignis shit. But I only ever wanted to play as Noctis because he felt like the main character. But the characters are so fucking different in this game, man. Because it's like, in, in 15, and I love 15 to death, but I didn't play as the other characters. Because in 15, it's like, Noctis is the main character. Gladio's a little stronger, Prompto has range, Ignis does interesting Ignis shit. But in this game, every character is so goddamn different. I'm going to enjoy the fuck out of kitting everybody out and getting them all set up. I'm looking forward to this so much. Oh, what was my command menu? Focus shot. I'll save it. Focus shot, you. Well, goddamn. You can switch to different characters depending on the battle situation. You can also stick with the same character and issues or issue orders to party allies. Use up, down, or left and right to switch characters. L2 or R2 to issue commands to allies. <laughs> this game's sick. I'm gonna enjoy this run through. Yeah, yes, and I know how 15 works. I know in the beginning you could only play as Noctis, but I actually finished the game a year or two after it came out. I played the first half right when it came out, and then I finished the game. So I had the ability, I just chose not to. Figure out the timing of the lasers, then make a move when they cycle off. Exactly. I'll go first. Nothing like a little danger to get the blood pumping. Hey! Just keep those baby blues of yours on me. You move around the outside of battle more quickly by holding R1 to dash, or you can press L3 once to keep dashing until you stop moving. Oh, dude. What I can tell in this tiny area, they do the same thing. I tried to use circle to dive through just now. It did not work. It did not work. The boxes, they're dying. Not too shabby. So I got scared that those were operating really fast. I don't know why. Sorry, the explorer in me wants to check all the side shit. Oh, it hit me with a fourth. I'm still alive, though. I bet there's a trophy for getting through there without touching any of those. But it's early on in the game. I don't really have to care about that. It will be the least of my trophy worries. You hit the lasers a bunch, she gets concerned. That's adorable. What up, Night of Wolves? Thank you for the 14 months, bud. Appreciate it. That box, where did it come from? Yeah, I cannot switch to Barrow when running around. Turns out. 
We can take this hunk of junk. That hunk of junk is a heavy weapons platform. If we run in, we die. Is that right? We need to hit it with magic. That should give us an opening. Well, let's hit it with magic. No, it's Hitting enemies with certain attacks or dealing large amounts of damage to temporarily knock them off balance and pressured will appear underneath their gauge. When this happens, pelt them with spells and abilities. Quickly fill their stagger gauge under the life bar. Once it's full, you can stagger them. The gauge fills faster depending on the abilities and magic used. Fills the foe's vulnerabilities. Find the most effective attack. Quickly finish off an enemy. Hey! It's not moving! Let's pin it down. Give it all you've got. And Barrett has no ATB. Oh, I can see his ATB. It just had to get back up. So we knock it down again. No time to complain. Neo. Enemies who have been staggered are defenseless and can take more damage. Using unique abilities on a staggered foe will quickly boost your ATB gauge. Boost your ATB gauge quickly. You can unleash more spells and abilities. Now's our chance. Let's we'll go. Don't need to tell me twice. I'm going to enjoy this. Take him down. This is now. Got his ass. First. Huh? Soldier first class. Doesn't go into the twenties. The hell are you talking about? I mean your age, not your goddamn rank. No fall I know. A soldier's rank could be the same as his age. Guess that makes you a one year old, huh? Live and learn. Yes, he come back. That's our target, the reactor core. Gotta set the bomb at the bottom. The trophy for the bike section? I remember the bike section kicked my ass. I definitely failed that one like five times at least. And I'm not looking forward to it again. It's really fun. It just kicked my ass. Tough to Phoenix down. Heads up, boys. The end's in sight. Leave the rest in your capable hands. Good luck. Yeah, I'm gonna go over here first. Not that way. Down the ladder, dummy. I guess I won't go that way first. Wait, 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 wait. Up, Cloud, up. We had an option to talk to Jesse. Oh, you're choosing me over the reactor? That's sweet, but I'll wait my turn. Go blow her mind. <laughs> I love this woman. Hey, Barry, how you doing? I don't know what these guys do. They just kind of float there and get their asses kicked. Thank God Barrett has unlimited ammo. Be real pain if we had to keep an eye on his ammo. Barry, we got to get uh, Dotto and BB and everybody around and do another League Night. Yesterday was actually super fun, which is normally not what I say after playing League of Legends. A bottle of ether. What a thrill. 